Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Flying Dog Carolina Reaper Peach IPA. This is a part of their Heat series, and if you couldn't guess by the name, they are using what is now known as the hottest pepper in the whole fucking world. Carolina Reaper Peppers, so yeah, that should be interesting. They're also using peaches, of course, as well as Galaxy Hop. So, really looking forward to this one. As you guys probably know, I like some spicy shit. So, we're going to see just how hot this beer is. Is it going to be the hottest beer in the world, too? Let's find out. Ooh, Wow. Right up front, I'm definitely getting the peach notes. There's a nice kind of tropically citrus kind of note, too. Yeah, getting, like, lots of peach, of course, but I'm getting, like, hints of mango, sweet orange, almost, like, a little bit of some kind of bitter, like, grapefruit peel. Also getting some of the pepper smell, and it's not really, like, just straight-up pepper skin, but it just kind of has this, like, I don't know, it definitely has that, like, peppery kind of smell to it. Really subtle smell, though. But, yeah, almost like stone fruits, definitely kind of, like, candied, you know, like, tropical notes. Yeah, mango and peach, definitely big. Smells pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. So up front, big juicy sweet peach, definitely some of that mango, almost like mango juice. You kind of get that tangerine, like sweet, sweet kind of juicy orange, and then the heat slowly builds. Like any really good, like spicy, spicy hot pepper, it starts and you're almost wondering, okay, is this it? It's not that bad. And then it keeps going, and it keeps going, and wow, this one is like, it's actually still going, like, and that's just the first sip. As you guys know, you know, the heat builds, and I gotta say, after the first sip, this is actually pretty warm. Like, a serious warmth in the chest. I actually feel warm overall, and again, that is just after one freaking sip, which is kind of cool because I hate when, you know, stuff says it's spicy and then it's not, and this one's got some heat to it for sure. Wow, yeah. Yeah, lots of stone fruits. Like, again, of course, huge peach, no surprise, but I'm also getting, like, again, that orange, tangerine, mango, almost hints of, like, pineapple on this one. It actually is really kind of, like, candied, true juice, kind of, like, just real tropical, real citrusy. And while that heat keeps building, the, the heat almost kind of has a little bit of, like, a fruity kind of heat to it, which is very interesting. Well, on that third sip, the, the, the heat is starting to get a little bit sharper. Wow. Yeah, it's like right here, too. Like, you can feel the burn. It starts about here, goes down, and then you can feel in your chest. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually feeling kind of warm right now. Holy shit, man. They were not playing around with this beer. I mean, it's definitely spicy. I'm also trying to compare it to some of the other hot beers I've had, like Habanero Scopin. Habanero Scopin is kind of weird, though, because there's that batch variation where some batches, it's almost more like jalapeno Scopin, where it's not super spicy. And then there are other ones where you're like, holy shit, yeah, this is definitely Habanero. Wow, though, I mean, the biggest difference, though, is I feel like with this one, the heat is, like, lingering. Like, it doesn't fade. I feel like with Habanero Scopin, it, it kind of fades a little bit after some time, but... The burn just keeps going, and it just keeps going, it keeps going, and I'm kind of wondering when it's going to stop, and I guess until all 12 ounces are gone, it's not going to stop, so kind of crazy stuff, medium bodied, crisp, clean. I'll be honest with you, I can't really tell how bitter this is because of the heat is definitely masking it. But it doesn't feel super bitter. It actually really juicy. I mean, like the peach and the galaxy ops are really complemented by the heat. Oh damn. We need some Tums after this. That would actually be a pretty good idea. Flying Dog Tums together. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, this is actually a pretty damn good beer. I gotta say, I really like it. And yeah, this is, I don't know, it, it's tasty. I haven't had anything else in their Heat series, but this is pretty damn good.
yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this one. And the heat is, wow, I mean, this is definitely one of the hottest beers I've ever had. If you don't like spicy stuff, be warned. Um, is this the spiciest beer in the world? I don't know, but it is pretty fucking hot. So if you get it, if you don't like spicy stuff, I don't know. Um, in terms of rating, guys, I'm going with an 8.7 out of 10. It's a great beer if you like heat and you like IPAs. If you don't like heat and you don't like IPAs, I don't know why the fuck you even clicked this video, to be quite honest with you. But, yeah, kind of juicy. I, You know what? I would actually be very interested to see the just, like, the peach IPA from them. I wonder if that would be, I don't know, with Galaxy Ops. I think that would be a winner. But yeah, if you guys have had this one, let me know. And if you like spicy beers, let me know what are some of the ones you've tried and what are some of the ones you prefer. Alrighty, guys, that does this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me, and remember... Ooh, excuse me. I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.